Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am making Retsuko, and if you want to do this yourself, you only need a base of like five sheets of paper to make all of the colors of Retsuko. Uh, you'll see I add some other little things as well. But thank you so much for stopping by to hang out. Season three comes out this week and I am so excited for it. When the show first aired, I was still in college. So it's like, oh, like I kind of get her. Like she's cute. She she doesn't know what she wants in life yet. And it's like, yeah, same. Um, but now I, I work a regular job as well. And she's like very near and dear to my heart. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what to expect for season three. I, I'm excited regardless. I'm excited to get any any more content of Red Sko. But if you've watched any of the trailers, it looks like we might get more pop music. I don't know. If you're watching this after the show has already aired, I hope we all enjoyed it. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, so far I've cut out her little business suit, the matching vest and skirt and I'm working on the inner part of her ears now and yeah it's coming along a lot of times you'll see me trace one piece over the next just to kind of get an idea of how much paper I should cut it's a little wasteful because I leave pencil marks on things that I'm not using but it works And these green scissors that I have, they're actually precision scissors, which are awesome for cutting these like really tiny corners. You just, you can't do those usually with regular scissors. You can see the blade on them, they're really short. And although I made this so that I could possibly frame it, so I'm putting this on just a regular piece of paper, this is definitely something you could do uh, if you're making like a, a card for a friend, I think this would be a really cute idea. Oh, what else? Decorations, cards... Gosh, that's about it, isn't it? <laughs> I am not a professional artist. I am a hobby crafter, so please forgive me if this is not absolutely perfect. Uh, the purpose of my channel is to inspire other people to get out and make stuff and have fun with it. And, you know, you'll get better at things as you go. I have a Pokemon playlist if you want to see more paper crafts like this. I am recreating the Pokédex. It is taking forever. I think all of my art projects are anime or like Japanese pop culture inspired so far. Eventually I might do other things, but I just, I really like anime and, and games. I don't know. <laughs> so now I'm cutting out her eyes. I think I should have made them a little bit bigger, but they're not too bad. And this craft in total took me about an hour. So I think you're watching this at about 10 times speed. And the nose and the mouth. And I have this little bin of uh, hearts, flowers, and star-shaped papers. I sometimes use them for characters' eyes. Um, but I think instead I used a small hole punch to put a little bit of shine in her eyes. So just some little bits of white paper. I know there's some art with her uh, having those big pink hearts in her eyes and that's so cute. Uh, but I think for the size that I made it just didn't make sense. The, the hearts that I had would have been too big. They're kind of too big, kind of too small. Like I would have had to replace the black eyes with that. So I'm just cutting out her arms and I left some space on the end to glue her hands on top or her paws. I feel like animal based anime is having some sort of like renaissance right now. BNA was really good. Beastar is pretty good. I'm excited for that. Uh, but Akatsuko was there before both of them. I think there's another similar animal office type of anime please comment down below if you know what it is because i i keep i see it pop up and i'm like oh yeah i need to watch that and then i always forget um, the last piece i have to cut out for her is her shoes uh, if you didn't want to buy five pieces of paper and you only had four i think you could definitely just color 
uh, some of the lighter paper dark and just use that for the feet. So I had this really cool uh, thing that's, what does it say? All day today, every day, working. <laughs> Hard at work since the beginning. <laughs> Which kind of fits with Retsuko trying to meet quotas and running around and answering phones. It just seemed fitting. And I picked this gray background paper because it kind of matches the tones that you would see at the office that she works in. And this nice delicate pink washi tape because it's very girly and when she's not raging, you know, sometimes there's lots of pink tones in the show. And finally, to glue her down, I have these little puffy stickers. Uh, so they have adhesives on both sides and it makes the paper pop out a little bit. Um, some of the, the pieces are too big for the arms and legs, so I ended up cutting pieces to put down. And that's about it. I'll see the finished project in just a minute. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you're interested in seeing more of my crafts, please have a look around, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I really appreciate it. I'm still pretty new out here. And uh, yeah, look forward to season three. Oh my gosh. Bye. <laughs>